Hey there, I just wanted to share with you a package that is made by Adam that allows you to collaborate with other people. As you know, when you are writing code, especially if you're coding with a group of people, it's really challenging to be able to work on the same file simultaneously, especially if you're on different machines. So thanks to this specific package called Teltype that is made by Adam, you are allowed to actually share your file and multiple users or contributors can be editing the file simultaneously, which is really, really helpful. And I think this is going to be a great advantage to you when you're working with others. Here's the website, teltype.adam.io. So if you want to get more information, they have an overview of what this particular package allows you to do. They have a little video that kind of shows it happening and they just give you some more information and talk about how the code is actually shared. In order to get this to work, you'll have to install the package and you'll also need a GitHub account. It does use the GitHub servers to be able to accomplish this. GitHub is free and if you don't already have a GitHub account, you'll just want to go ahead and sign up so that you have that GitHub account. I'm going to go into Atom and I'll go ahead and open up my preferences. You can access them by going to Atom Preferences, or I believe it's under the File menu on Windows machines. I'm going to want to go to the Install tab, and we'll just want to search for Teltype. You want to make sure that you're installing the Teltype that is created by Atom, and I'm just going to go ahead and install that. Once you've installed it, you can go to the Settings area, and there's not a ton of information here, but it does allow you to uninstall or disable it. And if you scroll down, it gives you a little bit more information about how this particular package works. The other thing that's going to be different inside of Atom is that once you've installed it, you'll have this little icon that looks kind of like a tower. And this is how you initiate sharing with someone else. So what you're going to want to do if you want to become the host and share with others is you're going to click this link and then it just lets you know that you need to sign in with GitHub and it gives you a URL, visit teltype.atom.io forward slash login to generate a token, and you'll paste your token in here. So I'm just going to click this link. That link is going to go ahead and take me to the appropriate page. And if you already have a GitHub account, it'll populate your username inside of the login screen. If you don't, as I mentioned, you'll need to sign up. So it's probably easier if you just sign up beforehand, but you could create an account here as well. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Once I do that, it'll ask me if I can authorize Adam to access my account. I'm going to click authorize and then it's going to provide me with this token. So I'm going to copy the token. I will come back to Adam and I'm simply going to paste the token in. I'll sign in and now it's going to allow me to join a portal. So I can actually join a portal from someone else or I can choose to share my screen. If I click share, it's going to provide a invitation for others to collaborate. So I'll just want to copy this invitation and provide it to someone else. What I'm going to do is I've actually logged in under a different account on a different machine and I'm going to invite this machine to share with it so I can show you what it looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to click join a portal and it's going to ask for the portal URL. So let me just grab that. I'll go ahead and paste the URL in there. I'm going to click join. And what it's showing me is it's showing me the file that is being shared. So this file is actually on my other machine. And you can see I have two logins here that are sharing the screen. You can actually invite other people to share as well. And I'm going to go ahead right now. My blinking insertion point on this machine is highlighting this span element right here. I'm going to go on to my other machine and I'm going to add another list item. So I'm just going to come up here. I'm going to add a list item and I'll put an A tag in there. And as you can see, as I'm actually typing, whatever it is that I'm doing here, it is showing up on this machine. So on my current machine, my blinking insertion point is green, but as you can see, the 
person that's editing on the other machine, my friend or partner, their blinking insertion point is going to be blue. So it'll show different colors. So it's a little easier to see. And if I go ahead and make a change here, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to change this to new test. I know you can't see my other machine, but those changes are showing up on the other machine as well. So this is a great way for people to be able to collaborate together. Now it is worth noting that when you are running collaborations, for instance, on my other machine, I just clicked on the CSS file. So you can see that now I'm pointing to the CSS file. So now we can be working on the CSS file. Whoever the host is, they will have to initiate any of the files that they want you to work on. So as long as they are in the process of sharing their screen, whatever files they open, you will be able to edit them simultaneously. Now, as soon as I stop sharing from my other machine or close any of these files down, you'll see how they disappear from my machine. Only the host has the ability to be able to share the files and they are controlling the files. If I wanted to save this file, for instance, to my own local machine, I'd have to go ahead and do a save as, and then I would be able to save this file somewhere on my machine. So do keep that in mind. It also is worth noting that as soon as the host shuts down the collaboration, and you simply do that by going to this little share icon and then they would just select the button right here to unshare. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on my other machine and you will see as soon as I do that and I turn off the sharing, then the portal has closed and the file will go ahead and close. As you can see, this does work really well. It is a great asset to be able to work simultaneously on files together with multiple people and it's pretty easy to set up and easy to use. So I hope you find this helpful when you're collaborating with others on your web related projects.